Well, I'm an architect by profession and a polo player by passion. Okay. During the second season of Let's Talk About Polo, we told that bringing a different edge of the game with the polo players and enthusiasts themselves. For this ep episode, we bring the same flair to you once again. I'm uh, Akshay Malik. I play polo at a handicap of uh, zero. I'm a lawyer by profession, but this is my favorite hobby, so I continue to do as much as I can playing polo. Hi, I'm Major Yatindar. I'm part of AC Polo team and I'm with the team from last probably six years. I'm Manu Mehta. I've been playing this sport since 1975. So how did polo come to you? Uh, being part of army, you know, everybody have to ride. So it's a passion and I generated passion during my training days. So from there I started playing polo. Well, I'm an architect by profession and a polo player by passion. Okay. So, how did polo come to you, being a lawyer? How did polo well, I've been riding for many years now, and uh, it's always been there. I gave it up. I used to play in college. I gave it up when I became a lawyer, but then I just couldn't stay far away from it. And polo, not just as a sport, but as a lifestyle, how would you explain? Um, polo is a passion actually. Polo, once you are into polo, you cannot go out of polo or polo cannot go out of you. So it's like once you are into polo, polo and you, you go together. Polo was a natural transition uh, because I was always riding horses in my school, which is a modern school. So it was a natural transition to continue the, uh, uh, my question uh, interest. It is, it is probably the most addictive thing and you are sleeping, eating, drinking horses all the time and it's, um, it's very very addictive and once you are into it uh, I don't think there's anything better no other sport which needs you to get your horses at a certain level get yourself doing at a certain level so it takes in a lot of effort doesn't seem so from the outside but I think uh, you must have heard from everybody how much it takes uh. I tell you to explain a rule for example riding them off how would you explain it in a layman's language for a person who has never seen or been to polo okay for riding off there are like three things first is the same speed the horses have to be at the same speed and at the same angle you cannot come in 90 degree and ride someone off and your knee is supposed to be ahead of your opponent's knee it is easy for the horse to ride that guy off so that's how you do the ride off the rules of polo are based on safety and, and riding off is to establish your line. You cannot cross the right of way of a player and you have to ride him off to come onto the line. So the rules of uh, whether it's polo or you're driving a car or you, you can't have an auto rickshaw come, come into your way. So similarly, you cannot have a polo player come in, the defending player or the opposing player come and overtake uh, the other other player at an angle. You have to establish your line and then uh, come on to the, come and take the shot. Okay, so riding off is basically, there is a line of the ball and uh, it's a physical sport. So aim of both the teams is to get on to the line of the ball. So trying to get on to the line of the ball is you get both the horses, that is the opponent and your horses together shoulder to shoulder and try and push the other guy off and that's what a ride off is and that's how you get to the ball so you have to keep the line of the ball in your mind at all points in time and the way to get onto the line is to move the other guy the opponent off the line and get the line that's a ride off and that's how you can make a play on the ball if you go without taking a ride off you would committing a foul hey guys Share.